Hey everybody, so I'm back after a long summer break where I moved to Colorado to start my doctorate degree. I got married to the love of my life, and we also got COVID on our honeymoon, which I'll tell you, it's not very fun. Also, I have a real office now, so no more bedroom lessons. For my first video back in a while, I wanted to do a bebop head study on Bud Powell's Celia. This is a great melody that has so many fundamental rhythms and licks. You definitely don't want to miss this. Okay, let's jump right into it. All right, so first off, I want to play you this melody. I'll have a free PDF of this melody, including tab, in the video description. Such a cool melody, right? It has so many things that we can take and use in our own improvisation. Let's start with a harmonic concept that Bud uses a lot in this melody, the flat five. So for me, I have a lot of language using the sharp nine, the flat nine, and the sharp five on dominant chords with alterations, but I don't have a lot of language with the dominant chords using the flat five. Back in the bebop days, a lot of cats purposely targeted this flat five tone more than other tones. The dominant seven flat five chord sounds like this. This is the grip most often used, but you are welcome to use other grips such as these ones. So now that we know the sound of a dominant seven flat five chord, here are the phrases that Bud Powell uses in the melody that incorporate this sound. Such great lines. So when Bud uses this sound, he's actually pulling from the whole tone scale. This is the scale that goes with the dominant 7 flat 5 sound. So within this scale, there's two augmented triads. Since we're playing this over F7 flat 5, our augmented triads are F augmented and then G augmented. So all we have to do essentially to make this sound happen is that we just have to hit the flat 5 tone in our dominant chord and then play augmented triads a whole step apart until we can find some way to resolve it to the one chord. Here are a couple examples of what I'm talking about. <music> Lastly, you could also extend Bud Powell's lines from Celia using this augmented triad concept. Here are a couple examples. Okay, so we explored the concept of flat five tones over dominant chords. Let's look at the other end of the spectrum, rhythm. In Bud's melody, he uses so many great rhythms. The first one that comes to mind is a 16th note triplet that ornaments his eighth note lines. So if we want to sound more bebop when we improvise, we need to use more of these type of rhythms and incorporate them into our improvisation. It's a good idea to always try to vocalize some of these rhythms in some sort of way. So the way that I vocalize this 16th note triplet ornament 
is I say Diliada. Here's a simple exercise to get you started using this rhythm. First, just play our major bebop scale going down. Then all you have to do is pick a note on a downbeat and then add a Diliada with the note above it. makes anything sound more bebop. You could also add multiple Diliadas to our scale. The second rhythmic device that Bud uses a lot in this melody is triplets. Here are a couple great examples from Bud's melody. Just like before, we can easily put this rhythm into our playing. So using a major seven chord, whenever you hit a chord tone on a downbeat, you can actually use a triplet to connect it to the next note in arpeggio with a chromatic triplet. Then you can use this concept and connect the spaces in between using our major bebop scale. Now combine it with our scale before and boom, we have some bebop-esque rhythms in our lines. So to recap, we covered the dominant seven flat five sound as well as the whole tone scale and then covered how to expand Bud's lines and also make some of our own lines. And then we tackled two different rhythms and how to incorporate them, that being the 16th note ornament or a diliada, and then also triplets. I always think it's a good idea to try to write out etudes over whatever you're trying to do. So if you're trying to incorporate some of Bud Powell's lines, maybe write an etude over the blues and just incorporate only the lines and play nothing else but Bud's lines. Or if you're trying to incorporate some of these bebop rhythms, take language that you already know and then figure out using our methods how to put those triplets and diliadas into your language. Thank you guys so much for watching this video about Bud Pals Celia. If you want some more Bud Pal heads, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you're looking to take online lessons, I have a lot of slots that just opened up, so make sure to send me an email, which you can find in the video description below. Also, make sure to check out my new single, which was an unreleased B-side on my record each step. You can find that link also in the video description. All right, thank you guys so much. And remember to always keep swinging 